so. <laughs> Keep them all in place, Dakota. What's wrong with her? She yes, just likes to be petted. <laughs> she says, oh, that feels so good. We're getting ready for a really cold, very windy day tomorrow. Uh, they're talking very windy and very snowy. So uh, we're just letting Dakota have a little time with the calves. She seems to love the straw. I think she really just wants to play and doesn't know how to play with the calves. Or the calves aren't playing back. Calves don't know how to play. <laughs> they just know how to sniff you. He's trying to get feet. everybody on that side. Oh, She's and this a one. Herder. This one's her friend because she, she's the newest. Somebody pooped on her back, but that's okay. <laughs> bed like we did for Chloe but she's not interested yet It is 11 a.m. This is what it looks out like outside my window right now. We have a little snow on the ground. It is a little bit windy, as you can see. Um, the weeds in the ditch, they're kind of blowing. It's not bad right now, but um, we do get gusts from time to time. It is snowing a little bit. Um, but they are calling for much more snow, so we wait and see how much we actually get, and I'll keep you posted. I'm heading outside in hopes that I don't blow away. It's been a couple hours since I showed you what it looks like outside, so I'll show you what it looks like while I'm out there. But I have to get the chickens some fresh straw in their chicken coop. That way they stay nice and warm. And then I need to make sure that the calves are well bedded. So I'm going to check to see if they need some more straw to make it a really deep bedding for the next couple days. Um, we just cleaned in there, but I want to make sure that it's um, really deep for them because it's going to get cold. So far we have like a drift right here. We almost always get a drift right there. I don't know why. Is it from the house or what? So I have to walk through the drift to get to the chickens. Oh boy, here we are. So thankfully I have my insulated boots on. We're gonna try not to get snow down my pants. But this is this is the joy of oh almost yeah it's up to almost my knee right there. Here we are. So it's not blizzardy, but let's look in here a second. Oh, the chickens. Yeah, you guys need some fresh, fresh straw. They are um, not going outside today. At least, well, there's a few that must be missing. 
so there's one laying. And uh, this is where my um, wall feeders come in handy. They eat off out of those when they um, don't go outside. I have to get them some water, fresh water too. All right, heading back out. are they might be in the calf barn looks like I should put their the duck pool away since it's not gonna do any more good this winter so here's the barn uh, looks like the cats have been following a path here let's go in here a second So the calf barn, this calf barn, this room here is heated. Um, it's got in-floor heating and it runs off of our water heater. So it's like 55 in here right now, which is really warm compared to outside. Let's go outside. Oh yes, this is where everybody hangs out. I probably should lower that just a little bit more. I keep it open for the kitties and for the chickens and the ducks, obviously. Um, but I don't think they're going out in the cold. Well, maybe Jack's been out in the cold. Look at it, he's all full of snow. All right, I'm gonna give this side a little bit of straw and probably the other side. And oh boy. Are you guys cold? Looks like snow is blowing in maybe maybe in that corner. And we have birds. Ugh. Oh, how did they get in here? That's not cool. I don't like birds in the calf barn. Um I'm gonna go ahead and open that bale up and distribute it. I wish I could get those birds out though. Maybe if I open one of the curtains, they'll fly out. I might do that. I did not, I did not bring a knife out with me, so this is gonna be interesting. I gotta get the strings off of the bale. And I'm gonna try to use these snips to see if that'll work. We'll see, I got my fork. them get them running around a little that warms them up all right now that I'm all cold I'm gonna go into the shed and see if I can find a board and I don't know if it's a two by two or two by three or a four by four I don't know what I'm looking for, but Kevin says there's one there for a project that I'm gonna work on. I'm not gonna tell you the project just yet, but maybe in the future, I'll show it to you. But uh, I'm gonna walk to the shed, see if I can find what I can envision in my head. Oof. And the chickens, they came out. Here, chickies! I don't know why they went out. They usually like to go in the the over that overhead door, but it's closed all the way down. So maybe I'll have to go open it a little bit for them to go in there for a little while. Are you stuck? I hope not. Are you okay, girl? You're in a little snowbank, huh? You need help? Here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Gonna get cold feet. 
Let me open up this door just a little bit. My hand's freezing. I put my glove on. All right, so this door opens from a crank like this. And it just slowly opens like that. And I'll make just enough area for them to go in. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Snow's getting everywhere. Um, so some of you ask about these curtains, do they keep the snow out? They do, but when you have a brisk wind, snow can really get in anywhere, so. So frosty, aren't ya? Oh, there's one chicken. She found her way in. See if more of them are gonna come. It's cold out here. Come on. Go in. Shh. Come on. Are you not moving so fast? Come on. Nowhere to go. My hands are froze, but I'm still gonna go look for that board. <laughs> that I need so I can work on some stuff in the house. I have my saw and everything set up in my garage so so we can do some woodworking projects in the garage and not have to come outside to the barn every time we want every time we want to cut a piece of wood. So I'm in the shed looking for the board that I'm not finding. Probably should have paid more attention. Oh, there it is. I knew he said it was in here. Oh, here's a project. I don't think you'll be able to see much of it. What's been happening with the livestock trailer that um, the guys have been working on. Just got it painted. I haven't taken off the covers. Um, I don't know. It might need one more coat of paint. It's kind of dark in here to see anything. But it's a blue color of a grayish blue anyway so that's ethan did this um goodness when did he do this a few days ago i guess it won't be long and this trailer will be up for sale i see we got some snow in here as well coming through the cracks but that's okay um get my board oh my hands are numb all right so this is this is what I'm looking for. So, I'm gonna bring this home. It is probably eight foot long. And uh, I gotta do some measuring and hopefully not trip on my way out of here. Do some measuring and see what I can come up with. I'll share with, I'll share you, I'll share with you um, what I'm doing in another video. Probably once it's all said and done. I'm gonna head back home my hands are so cold that I'm not going to be able to video once I get out of here because um, of the wind and the cold. I have pretty sensitive hands to the cold. My feet are too, but I'm um, thankful for the, these insulated boots. They have helped tremendously this year. Do you want to go that car? And um, so yeah, let's go back out. Can you hear that wind? Let's go back outside and brave this storm. That's a view of the shed wall right there. Saying, or even as a snowmobile there, this here is rye seed that we've already sold, but the guy hasn't come to pick it up. Hopefully he comes and gets it sometime, I don't know. I figured he would sow it this, um, this fall, but, or last fall, but he didn't come and get it in time. So I don't know what his plans are for that. Here we go. Over. There we are. Beautiful sight right there. Oh, we gotta get this through the door. How's the road look? Um, Sydney is out on the road. He said it is slick. So, yeah. That's our dirt road. It's kind of like a sheet of ice right now. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. How it kind of forms on the windows. Of course, then you can't see out the window. Oh, the garage. The garage feels so warm. Oh, it's not warm. It's not very warm in here, but it feels warm.
I'm gonna have to go warm my hands for a while before I can come back out and work on it. I hope I did everything that I need. I forgot to do this. I forgot to do the chicken coop. I will do that later. I need to get warmed up. Boy. This is winter for you, you know what? Oh well. I will get the chickens a little later. I I don't know why I totally forgot about that.